These numbers are much closer to what uh, people are expecting Boeing to deliver every month, though still not at full delivery as in relationship to production. In August, the company delivered 64 airplanes. That's an improvement over what the company delivered in July when they ran into the first of several production issues. The 737 is what everybody's focused on. Deliveries up to 48 in the month of August. That's a big improvement from 29, which was a multi-year low for Boeing in July. There's delivery issues, which we have talked about for some time, supply chain snags, whether it's the fuselage that's been coming uh, from Spirit Aerosystems in Wichita or the engines coming from GE Saffron that have been delayed. Well, they now have about 50 planes that are essentially finished, yet not complete. Well, they are now bringing in some retired workers. As they work through that backlog, they have been hired to help finish those planes. You saw that aerial shot earlier. Those are all the 737s that are parked around the facility out in Renton. As you take a look at shares of Boeing, also keep in mind that this is a company that uh, is expecting lower Q3 deliveries, but they expect to make up any of those deliveries that they're not going to be able to make this quarter in the fourth quarter. Also, Boeing is shutting down its plant in Charleston, South Carolina, ahead of Hurricane Florence. They have about 6,000 employees down there. The company is going to shut down today, wait for the storm to come through, give the employees a chance to uh, evacuate if they need to do that. And one final note, guys, Boeing out with a new forecast for demand in China, total industry demand for airplanes. They now say that it'll be 6.2% higher over the next 20 years than what was previously forecasted. So that demand continues to grow in China.